Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Strawberry Jam. Last time we did this crazy level and uh, <laughs> the title of last video was hyperbole of course, but it wasn't entirely false. I did in fact injure my wrist playing this level because there's so many super fast inputs and particularly using the, I think, the, the left bumper as a jump button combined with all the super fast inputs just um, made my wrist hurt and so the next day I didn't play anything for the entire day waiting for myself to heal. Now I'm all healed up, good news, the pain is gone, grip strength has returned, all back to new. So let's go and try to find ourselves another level. We've already done this one. Here we are, clockwork level, this one looks fun. Clockwork by Fonda1515. Since playing the last episode at one of your recommendations, I installed a mod called Death Tracker, all one word. And so I have the number of deaths for every level appear, presumably whenever I die. I haven't used it yet. All right, so this is going to move all of those, I guess. Do we have to go fast? Um, I think we teleported into another level. That was weird. When using these watchtowers, you're able to remotely activate switch gates in the room. Ooh! If you press your climb button, a switch gate will activate while you're looking through the watchtower. If you leave this area and come back, all switch gates will be back in their original positions. Makes sense. Switch gates will be activated chronologically based on when they would actually be activated in the room. Okay. That's really convenient. So I grab this key and the platforms go away. Grab this key and the platforms go away. Okay, cool. Do they come back? Okay, they came back. All right, so this is a, hmm, mm hmm. This is a zone. There's a crack here. Crack is gone. <laughs> well, let's try it. I did it wrong. Maybe not. No, actually, I think that's probably how you're supposed to do it. Um, I made it, so... <laughs> All right, what happens if I'm up here? Is that a... Uh... Hmm. What if I... Cr I can get up there with my dash. I wonder if it breaks. There we go, I'm here. Nope, doesn't need to break. Gotta check though, right? All right, there's just cracks in the graphics. Okay, what does this do? All right, get, gets us up here. All right. So we can we can check out the things. Moves to the right. We could probably get a small boost from it. It keeps going and it goes slowly. So we're gonna come back here, get some high jumps off of it. And then uh, the spikes are probably out because I don't think we can, I don't know. Oh, I'm hearing the music. It's pretty cool. And then this goes up. We probably just dash into it a few times. And then these move. Oh, that's cool. And they just keep going. That, that's really cool. And then over here, we bounce into the springs and get over. Oh, I love this level. I barely played it and I love it. Okay, we probably want to... Yeah. Wait. No. We just want to land on it, that's right. Probably. Yeah. Oh! More spikes that I don't see. Um... Dash upward, maybe? Yeah, that's how it's done. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, we want to fall on the left side first. There we go. Oh, no. I'm too slow. What's going on? So I don't think I can make it over there. Oh, no, no, no. What am I doing? That's what you're supposed to do. I just forgot. I'm like, what is this? A bunny hop over to there? No, it's... No, it's it's the, the thing we learned. Okay, now we should be able to... Yep, I shouldn't have fast fallen. 
There we go. Now we fall down here. Oh, yeah. Oops, I missed. That was almost it. Whoa, I didn't even look this far. I thought that was the end of the level. Okay, so this is moving. It's coming to the left. We gotta keep dashing to the right. And then over here is just the end. Okay. And again, I'm tempted to say this level isn't so bad. And again, of course, it is just the second room. I guess the only level that I wasn't tempted to say isn't so bad was Mosaic Gardens. That level was just hard from the start. I knew it was going to be a doozy. There we go. Wait. No, I needed a high jump. Can I... No. There we go. All right, what's next? So we have a looker if we need to. Let's let's just do it. So we got a battle line bubble that'll help us bounce up. That's the wrong button again. This moves to the right as expected. That moves down at the same time. Wait, was that? Gotta try it again. Is this, is this a, yeah, we wave off of that one or something. And we've got the next key that makes this one come down. No, we bunny hop off of it. Maybe a bunny hop, uh, a wave hop. And then we come over here. Or wait. Hmm. Is that enough? Is there something else that comes down here? Uh, hmm. Maybe there is one that comes down here and it's already vanished. Because I didn't scroll fast enough. Anyway, then we bunny hop again. And then we're over here. We bounce up. We get this. And it goes slowly. So we gotta, like, delay our bunny hop here? Or no. Why would we have to bunny hop? I don't think we would. No, these aren't even platforms. <laughs> then we fall down, and this one moves to the right, and then it stops. So, what's the difficult thing here? There's just this giant platform that looks completely safe. What's the problem? Is it this thing up here? Are these spikes gonna come down? We'll find out. There we go. Okay, that was just a jump, not a bunny hop. Jump, wave, dash, jump. That was a bunny hop. Okay, we have to dash back to the bird immediately there. I'm using the second jump button for the bunny hop still. If my wrist hurts tomorrow, I will stop doing it. Okay, maybe I want to dash straight up. There we go. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> it does come down. Oh, I must not have just pressed the button enough times while in the looker. Made it! <laughs> cool! Wow, this level is so much easier. Than, like, okay, I was wrong. It didn't take me 16 minutes to get through the first screen of Mosaic Gardens. It took me 16 seconds on my final try. Because it reset every time. Because it was like, oh, you're starting over the chapter. We'll reset the timer. A little bit inconvenient for uh, this playthrough. But it makes sense. For, like, speedrunners and stuff. So I'm just not going to look, apparently. Oops. Gotta hit those springs. Oh, wow. This level is cool. Oh, yeah. And then we neutral up there. Wow. This level is so cool. I love it. It kind of reminds me a little bit... All the things moving reminds me a little bit of... Starway, Starlight, what's it called? What's that level called? Starlight something from uh, Advanced. The one that I said was my favorite. All right, then we bounce off that, we dash up immediately to the next one. Starlight Station, that's what it was. 
There we go. And then uh, probably reverse off of that. So let's check it out. Let's see what we gotta do. And of course, that's what I, all the deaths are what I get for not um, not looking in this thing immediately. And we reverse off of that, and then there's a bird or something right there. This this meant dash in the previous room. And so then we come down here, probably a diagonal. Oh, I bet the bird is gonna make us do an ultra dash here. Then we bounce off here, high jump off there. I don't actually know. Oh wow, it's pretty long. But it's so cool. I don't know why I'm having trouble high, um, neutraling off that wall. I think it's probably because it's moving. It's just normal neutral jumps. Why am I... Come on. There we go. I, I knew what I had to do. I just didn't pull it off. There we go. Oh no, not high enough. This level is much less at oops, less abstract. Okay, we got a high jump and then okay. This level is much less abstract than the others in this lobby have been. Like there's actually a a, a theme that kind of makes sense. We're in a clock tower. Whereas the others have been like, here's just abstract this and that and whatever. Which is also really cool. You know, I guess over the the water levels have uh, been similar. Yeah, I guess there's just been a mix. I'm thinking specifically of system invalid map exception. Although, I guess Advanced did have its fair share of abstract levels. There we go. Yeah! Oh, hey, there's another spring. <laughs> there we go! <laughs> you know, I guess all the, all the lobbies had their fair share of abstract levels. So... Let's see what happens in this level. And there was Dropsol, and... I keep pressing... Okay, place your bets. Am I going to press that button on accident every single time instead of this button? <laughs> so that's moving, it's following me, I gotta go fast. This is just the room going fast, and then we get that, and we have to come back, I think, in order for that to go away. We go over it, and then we come down here. And we get ourselves a platform. And then we do a wave here, and then a super here, and then we're here at the right time so we can high jump off that. Then we go up and up and up, and it looks like it's pretty easy. Um, I mean, from the, the point where I stopped saying things to the end, it was pretty easy. The rest of this, well, it's just kind of tough. Okay, I think we have to exhaust both of these here. Um, oh, hey, there's a, a platform. I didn't even see. Let's do that. Whoops. I like how this clock hand here in the background is pointing to the thing you have to do. It's like, go that way. Do a thing here. I, I, I made a mistake. Ooh. I guess I got an ultra off that spring. Yeah, not nearly fast enough. So you gotta just do everything right. So the thing I gotta do is I gotta dash upward onto that spring. No, oh, I almost made it. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have lined up later, though. Made it! Oh! Be more patient. Alright, we just gotta wait there. All right, and then we can probably wave off of that and super off the next one. Oh. Huh. Oh, I can just jump off of that. <laughs> so I guess it is possible that if you don't dash straight up into the spring, you can still make it. But dashing straight up seems to be the intended way. Okay, so actually it looks like I don't need to do any waves or anything off those at all, it just jumps. Oh man, this level has great music. Oh, 
I don't know why, but Rainy Clockwork Tower just kind of makes sense as a level theme. I guess it, it kind of reminds me of Crash and Spyro, so I think they had some levels kind of like this in some of the games. I played a lot of those games when I was a kid. And like certain racing games would have levels like this. Man, I'm going too fast still. I have to hit that spring. I have to hit that spring dashing up. No, maybe, I need, maybe I'm supposed to hit it dashing diagonally. That would make more sense because that would be easier and that would give me the time I need. There we go. That was cool. Whoa! That ending was so cool. And indeed, even though it had surprises, it wasn't too hard. Hey look, golden berry room this way. <laughs> okay, I remembered. Push this button. All right, so in order to get that, I need to reverse wave or super one of the two off of this and then dash back up and around. Well, let's do it. Made it. <laughs> that was kind of tough. Here we are. We do, we do get a looker. Okay. We have a jellyfish. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Not this not this lobby yet. We get this and the two, three. All right, and then we go around and this is not active yet. And we, hmm? oh, we throw our jellyfish. Okay, and then the, these activate. So we have to bounce off this first, probably get a like a, a wave with a jelly. And then we're going fast. And then we do a bunny hop over here. It just keeps going. And then this comes down. I was expecting that one to move. Ooh, these are all coming down as we are slowly descending with this, with our jellyfish. And then we get the, the thing. What's this for? Oh. Oh, what? That must have come from... Ah, it came from over here. Why did it go all the way over there, though? What's the point of that? Oh, we, maybe we throw... We throw a jellyfish there? Oh no, it brings the jellyfish to us. Okay. Um, just jump? Kind of forgotten jellyfish mechanics. Yep. And then we can reverse wave off of that. Okay. This is really not as... Oops, wrong way. I was a, man, Mosaic Gardens has has primed me to think I need to be pressing buttons and doing crazy things every single moment. Man, I'm I'm just like kind of blown away at how not difficult this is. How relaxed my hands are. <laughs> I should put it that way. I'm basically I'm I'm not gripping the controller like my hands are claws. <laughs> It's crazy. It's almost relaxing how, how non-intense this level is. That, I, I buffered too early. There we go. I, I, I missed the fish. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm falling faster than that platform is going down, so I need to hold diagonal for it. And this is what Dead Zone Config is meant to do. It's meant to make uh, doing the diagonal stuff easier. Like this. Oh, dang it. Okay, it, it, it actually makes this more difficult for me because, um, because it makes it easier to move sideways while you're holding up. And so, so, uh, 
Yeah, I think I can turn it off in the in the options. It's hard to now. It's hard to stay still. Okay, yeah, I need to turn this off for now. Okay, I do not seem to be able to turn off dead zone config, so we'll just have to get good. I think this does should allow for precise movements. Oh, come on, last hazard. Commencing operation get good. All right, time to move on. Yeah, this, this level's got nothing on us. Not even 40 minutes in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're into some fun stuff now. I need to just, wait, what do I even need to do? Okay, this is moving. We need to get back onto it right there. Okay, with like a reverse wave or something. Then we get over here. This, uh, we get the crystal and then... I'm not sure what we do with the crystal. We just like walk back to the left and high jump off of here. And then something? Hmm. Strange. Not sure. Anyway. I'll look again if I need to. I, I don't need to dash to the right. Okay, this must... Okay, no, that is absolutely what you have to do. I had it wrong. Um, I wonder if we can get over there without using that extra dash. Maybe we are supposed to use it there. Nope, there we go. And then we, I don't know, reverse wave off of that? Or just, like, stand and... Nope. Okay, we have to reverse wave in order to get back to the double crystal, because we don't have to step on it again. We're finding the exact right timing to do your dashes on that double crystal in order to get the high jump in the right place. Like that. Yeah. You absolutely have to do some kind of hyper or something off that. There we go. And then... then well, where's that other platform? It worked so far. Are we gonna have to use it again, I, I wonder? Let's watch where you go. And that one moves. Yeah, this one seems like it's gonna come over here and be in, and carry us over here. So we've gotta be going at the right speed throughout the rest of this. All right, it doesn't look that hard. It just looks like a lot. All right, there we go. Got a little farther that time. Man, every room in this level has been so much fun. Man, I have been, what's the opposite of spoiled? Um, Mosaic Gardens has really toughened me up so that these other levels, it's like, oh yeah, that's not even hard. <laughs> now I'm doing this, all this crazy stuff, all these moves and stuff, and I'm like, where's the challenge gonna come in? Oh, uh, I dashed too many times. <laughs> there we go. Ah, ah. Right, what now? Not that way. Okay, we are over here. We're falling. We go to the right, and it moves both of those. And now we come over here and probably land right on top of here, but this one moves. And it's going, we gotta do a, an ultra off there, it looks like. Ah, yeah. And then we're over here. Glad I looked, because I wouldn't have noticed that. And we're over here. We... Maybe there's a bird or something. I don't know. And then we come over here, and it looks pretty easy at the end. I kind of like how these levels have little easy parts at the end. It's just like, okay, you've done all this crazy stuff. Now it's time for some relaxing. This way. Oh. Oh. Well, what? Am I getting a double crystal, or what's happening here? I am getting a double crystal, so I dash straight left after hitting the spring. And then dash left into this crystal, okay. This music's also much calmer than Mosaic Garden. That music was kind of just like... 
frantic inducing. This is this is more more chill and zen. There we go. Oh, I was too I, I was too hasty. There we go. Where am I going? Ah. All right, that's where we're going. Yeah. yeah! Hold on, please be more. I am loving this level. Oh, I feel like this could be the last room. We've gone through so many already. Oh man, I this level is so much fun. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it so much. It's so peaceful. It uses the mechanics in ways that feel natural to me. You know, there's there's time between the button inputs. I mean, not to say Mosaic Garden was a bad level, it's just, it, it gave me a lot of stress, so... This is a welcome relief after that. Alright, this, this level looks so much fun, I have not been looking at it at all, I don't know what happens. Some stuff bounces. I think I want to super off that. Uh, didn't want to dash there. Okay, want to dash to the left. Wait. I haven't... Hmm. Maybe that's what I want to do. Yeah, and I don't want to use my dash until later. Like that. And then don't super bounce off of that, just dash back to the left again. There we go. Almost. But the red one's gonna push the push the puffer down. Yeah, we can do this. And I remember the right button. Yep. So this this puffer gets pushed down slowly. And where does it end up? Probably right there, right? Hmm. Where's it going? Where's it going? Okay, so we probably have to use it before it gets there. We probably have to- it's getting pushed down here, we get puffered, and then we go over here. Alright. Wait. Oh, there's spikes there. <laughs> okay, I wonder if I- I bet I can get over that without using my dash there. Mm, no, maybe not. And I wanna- Um, no, I think I have to- Maybe I have to keep my dash there, because when I'm falling down here, I have to go to the right in order to get this. And then, like, do a wave. Once I go past this wall, I can't come back. So, yeah, I think I need to keep my dash here. So I gotta dash and hold jump and left. Okay, not jump. Okay, there we go. I didn't get the key. Okay, you cannot jump there, or you will get hit by the spikes up top. But you can't dash, because you need to use your dash later. There we go. Ah, no. Oh, I see. There's a there's a spring with a double crystal. It's that same double crystal we just got. So we probably can, yeah, here we go. And then we do a reverse wave there. Probably in order to be it at the right time. There we go. Ah, we got a puffer buffer our way through there. Made it. Ah. And then do we bounce off that or do we just puffer through it? Maybe we, we'll, we'll try, we'll see. Okay, we have to get the buffer. Or we have to, we have to get the explosion. I'm using words that are used to mean things that completely different from what they actually mean. There we go. Close. Oh. Now finding, uh, lining up that puffer with the two blocks around it is difficult. And so I need to find out exactly when I get the key and what moves I do since then. 
and just before then to prepare in order to get there fast enough to be in the right position. Like right there, it's already moving, so I gotta go fast here. There we go. Ow! So what's after these? We go up and around, and then the platform's still moving, and we get this, and it seems pretty chill. So get there once or twice and we should be good. There we go. <laughs> yeah! So cool. More levels! Yes! Ferry this way. Oh wow, this level is so fun. We're gonna, going up quite a ways, and then that's just for blocks. Okay, <laughs> we do not go up there ourselves. So blocks are going to be falling the whole time. And then the berry is right there. I didn't look at anything else. Usual me. We have to super off this? Uh, okay. And then we have to go off of, like a high jump off of that. Or super. Hmm. Something like that, I guess. Oh, and then uh, we have to wave off that, I think. Before, before we hit these spikes, after it's come out far enough, and, uh, yeah, that's what we gotta do. There's a small window for this. We just gotta get it right. We gotta get the boost. It's got it, so it's gotta be moving, but it can't be stopped, and we can't be hitting the spikes. Oh, this room just feels so good to pull off. Wait, what? Okay, we're here, and we get that. And then those are moving. Do we just short hop them? Do we have to like dash over them or something? Hmm. We need to end up on the other side with our dash so that we dash left into there. And then what? Is there a platform moving? Oh, we have a double crystal there. So yeah, we do have to just hop over there so we can use our double crystals over here. One, um, it almost looks like we need three dashes in order to get around here. Oh well, we'll find out. Yep, that's how you do that. Oh, it's battle line. Oh, it's coming down. And we gotta dash right. And... We'll do a couple of these. Now that's coming down. We dash right and then high jump. And then... It's, an, it's the second one for... And those platforms on the right... Oh, we're almost there! Wow, I thought this room was a lot bigger. Those platforms on the right we have to... Um, neutral up, I guess, in order to get the berry. This dash, right there, to get up again, is challenging for me, because I keep doing it too early and hitting the spike above the spring. Alright, made it up there. Now where am I? Um... Am I grabbing off that? Am I high jumping off that? What is the reason for the spikes being gone on the second pillar? So we're down here. It looks kind of like we can high jump off of it to get over here, but... Oh, yeah, so we have to in order to get the top block to be in the right position. I see. Almost. So close. Uh, I needed to neutral off of those, not climb jump. Oh no, not high enough. So this last section I have to do really fast in order to get over to the right when these platforms are in the right place. Come on! Gotcha! <laughs> Alright, time to do this level. Let's take a look. We're going over here, reverse waving, and then bunny hopping, and then and then uh, dashing on here, and then we're high jumping. And then these are probably being pushed up, so we bounce on them all the way up to here. And then 
Um, battle line tries to throw us in the spikes, so we dash to the left, and then, um, we go around, and, uh, there's some puffers here, so then we blast off them, and we do an ultra, and then, I don't know what we do here. This doesn't make any sense to me. Buffers are coming up. This one... Wait, what's what's happening second? Oh, that one's moving. Oh! Cool. So then over there, over here, we're gonna have a spring. And it just keeps going. Bye-bye! So this one's moving, but that's just... Okay. So this bounced the puffer out. This bounced another puffer out. Okay. And then... What else is happening? Is that the last one? Oh, there's a red one over here. And I didn't get to see... Okay, it moved over here. And then we go up, and then that moves this. And they're all, all moving over here. Okay. Let's try it out. It has to be a super. Alright. Okay, do not hold jump there. Yep, right in the spikes. Okay, we can ride it. Alright. Or, maybe we can just do a reverse hyper without... without extending it. And what I mean by that is a regular super without extending it. Like that. No, we... Were there puffers with radii in the right place for that? Oh, yes. Hmm. That is confusing to me as to how I'm expected. Am I just expected to... to jump off? It seems like surely I must be expected to do some kind of super or hyper. That was that was that was pretty cool. Didn't have my wits though. There we go. Bounce. All right. They're putting puffers. All right. Somehow managed to stay alive so far. Ah! <laughs> wow. Did all that in one go. This level is reactable. And we do have to get off that red platform as soon as possible. So that we can catch it. I guess it's a green platform. We do have to get off of it as soon as possible so that we can catch it later on. Okay, so this one we can jump across- we can jump away from it as soon as it starts moving. Okay, we have to dash to the left there. Okay, not as soon as it starts moving. Oh, I'm not fast enough. So I think I need to da use both of those, my dashes in that double crystal to go down quickly. Maybe not down? Because I don't know if dashing down is any faster than fast falling. Oh, I have, I have two crystals, so I can do that. <laughs> I'm so silly. Man, I'm gonna have such crazy calluses on my thumbs when I'm done with this game. Yes! Yes! It threw me right into the platform! So I just discovered something, which I'll explain when I get there. If you just let yourself be normal bounced by the first puffer, then the second you'll be put in exactly the right position to hit the second puffer. Or not. Oh, I see. I need to not use those dashes until I need them. I was like, why is it giving me two dashes? The answer is always so that you don't use them until you need them. There we go. That's when I use my second dash. Oh no, I was not enough.
Let's go. Whoa, that was cool. I didn't expect that. <laughs> there's more. Wait, is this the heart room? No. Oh, there's more. Yes. Actually, I am getting a little bit tired of playing right now. As you can see, I've been playing for an hour and a half, but this is a level that I am happy to play for an hour and a half. Nice and long. Okay, and then Battle Line throws us up here. And this is probably the last room. We throw through, get thrown through the spikes and the music changes, or music stops, and then we're into the art room. Ah, I wonder which of these we want to do first. Let's try the other way. Nope, it's got to be left first. Something like that, and then I think maybe we have to high jump off of that? Yeah. And then we ultra off of that, I guess. So the bird throws us, and yeah, it looks like we have to ultra. We ultra... Or do we ultra? We ultra and then we... Then we... Then we wave off of this one, I guess? And then we're going over here. Probably just fall all the way down here. And, um, something else happens over here? Yeah, this platform comes. <laughs> platform comes over here, we use it to bounce up, and then we're over here. And, um, that one starts that one moving, and we high jump, and then we come over here and do a wave, and then a high jump, and then this one, I guess we have to be... Wait, why does this one matter that it moves? Is it just a hazard? All right, and then it's basically the end. So this one is, this level is full of rooms that look like they're gonna be extremely long and difficult, but mo but a lot of it is just, you're moving really fast and really far. Yeah, I, or, or maybe we just jump off of that. And then we keep our, keep our second dash. I think this is the first time I'm doing an ultra into a bunny hop. Yeah. There we go. And then I needed to, yep. Almost. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's what that pot was for. It's a ceiling block. Because battle line is throwing us up into the spikes and the platform makes us not. Oh hey, I can dash into that. Because <laughs> the spring gives me my dash back, of course. I hadn't been doing that. That makes more sense. Yeah, this feels more natural. Oh, I didn't get enough of a boost there. So I think the sooner you, you jump on that second jump, the more of a boost you get. So there's so much about ultras, specifically speed related, that I don't understand. So I think it has to do with how soon after the bird you do your dash, but also how much or little you slide on the platform. Because, yeah, I'm not getting far enough with that. Okay, once I get past here, then I wave here, I have two dashes. There is a spring down here. I don't know if I can get there without using a dash. But if I can, then I can dash. I can high jump here and then dash again. That seems to be what I need to do. I need to use my two dashes to high jump here and dash again. And then we're done. It's really amazing how these really long levels seem to be just, oh, so long, crazy long. But then you get, you get good at them and you're like, okay. And then, then you go and, uh, that was so cool there at the end. And then you realize, you're like, oh, how long do I have left? And it's like, oh, of course, that's just the beginning of the level. And then you look and you're like, no, I actually have one more move before I finish. Oh, there's another whole level here. All right, we are not done. So we're going around, we're coming over here. And again, I'm not really strategizing here. I'm just kind of looking ahead. It's kind of absorbing. If the previous level wasn't the final room, 
I don't know if this room is the final room. It's bigger, but it, and it looks huge. Yeah. And then we're gonna we're gonna be thrown out to the right. And there's a broken clock in the background, and we're outside of the tower. This has got to be the final room. Anything up? Nope. Here's how we start. That's cool. All right, great start, great first try. All right, and then we're going up, and then we gotta dash quickly off of those springs. Oh man, this level is so cool. I love when games have a lot of moving parts, like a lot of moving platforms and stuff. And you have to, and they're all timed well. I, I like it when anything does that, really. Just enjoy understanding the, the mechanics of how things fit together and, and are moving and work together. So like I played another game called The Room, where the gameplay... I'm just falling and falling and falling. <laughs> the gameplay of The Room and the puzzle solving is very pixel hunty. It's, it's a point and click puzzle. But the things that you point and click on are just all kinds of mechanical devices that have flaps that open and keys that turn and just all kinds of parts that move. And it's, it feels good in the tickly part of the brain. And this level also scratches that itch for me. Maybe I need to super off that. Okay, well, it didn't quite work. I need to not explode in that direction. Let's look and see exactly what kind of explosion I need. And look, just that part, and we're already like halfway through this level, so. Okay, right here we are. I think I just need to jump on it. I don't think I need to explode it. So if, if I can reverse super and then super puffer off of this, then I think that should be what I need. And then we'll be going up there probably to explode off of them. Or are those going to be pushed down? They'll probably be pushing down. So yeah, we probably need to explode off of all three of these. And the third one, we hold to the right to get the buffer. Oh, this level is so long. There's so much to it, but it's not that hard. And possibly the reason why I think that is because I've done so much in Expert already. There we go. Whoa! Did not expect that. It's kind of automatic. I expected to have to adjust myself each time. Let's go! Oh no. I don't know what happened there. I was holding the right each time. Do I need to hold jump, maybe? Does jump maybe make me not fall as quickly? Or as soon? Okay, no, I held jump. Oh, I have two dashes! I know what I have to do! Hmm, that's not working. Oh. So I held to the right from the first puffer, and uh, it didn't get me to the second one. Okay, I think I see. I need to get the puffer buffer off of the third puffer. No, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. Yeah, because if I get the puffer buffer off the first one, then it doesn't let me do the second one. There we go. That almost worked. Maybe if I had fallen just a little bit farther before I dashed. I have two dashes! God damn it, I can use both of them! Oh my goodness, how long has it been since I realized I had two dashes? I was like, I got an ultra- No, I can use both dashes to get to the puffer fish at the bottom. Oh my goodness. I have two dashes. One, two. Oh. There we go. I got it. Wow. That was a sound effect. Got a dash downward when I get there. Repeatedly. As fast as I can. Come on, go, go, go. Yes. What do I do there? The level keeps going. I like it, but it just keeps going. Okay, we got three things and we did. We need to dash over here, get the crystal, and then 
right up, blast up. Wait. Do we need... No, it's probably fine. So, right up, blast, up, blast, up, blast, up. And then there's more. There's just more level. Okay, there's not that much more. Okay, so here we're gonna get this, and then we gotta do an ultra and bounce a couple times off these platforms. And keep as much speed as we possibly can to get to the edge of the screen. We're gonna do it pretty soon. You think I can do it before two hours? Yeah, oh, right. Come on, come on. Yeah, yes. Oh, wait, what's happening? Ah, higher, take me higher. It's the heart. Now the question is, is there a secret up above it? Oh, yes, there is. <laughs> I don't know, we might not beat this level before two hours, but we did get to the heart. Huh. Whoa! I want more of that. Alright, it's a multi-boost. <laughs> oh, wow. How long is this? This is some pretty intense stuff. So we can get through here with a multi-boost, and then we get battle line and uh, thrown up there, and then we dash this way probably as fast as we can until we're over here, and we get exploded by the puffers. And then we land into this wall, and we land here. And then I'm guessing we just want to wave off of here, although this wall concerns me. And then we just wave across here. What is this platform here for? I don't know. And then, um, we get here, and then it is so long. So long. Whoa! Oh my goodness. This is long. GG and a berry. Alright, we are not gonna beat the- we are not gonna beat this by two hours. For sure. There we go. Nice. All right, so we got to wave a bunch over that. And I wonder why that platform is there. That's what you're supposed to do. And then, the, oh, that's what that platform's for. Okay, dash down. Yes. Oh, no, I didn't get a special boost off that puffer. Yeah, again, this is one of those rooms that looks super long, but really isn't once you get good at it. Because I got this far. So then I have to get over here and... I guess I'm... I guess I'm wave dashing... Oh! Right, because this, this platform stops moving, so I get a multi-boost off of that. And then I bounce right off of this. And then we're basically... Okay, we're not quite done. <laughs> There's more. Oh well. There we go, and then I got a high jump off of that. I see, I see! Yes! I missed it, I missed it. Gotcha. Oh, whoa! Pretty close. Pretty close. So a way to consistently get this is to fall straight down from the key. Oh, yeah, that- Oh, no! Wait, I thought I would, I think I might have been clinging right below the ice. But I let go of the grab button because I thought it was ice. Oh my goodness, this level feels so, so good to pull off and get all this speed. It's good that there's leeway with those buffers, I was saying. Sometimes, when they hit you early, you can still make it. Like that. Okay, I was not grabbing there. <laughs> I wanted to test it, but I should have I should have just gone up. Should just should have just neutraled up there. Yeah. 
Yeah! Got the berry. Man, that room was so fun. This level was so fun. <sighs> nice. Oh my goodness, that was such a fun level. And I did it all in one sitting, too. Two hours, one sitting for this beautiful level. 649 deaths. I find it hard to believe that this is the same difficulty rating as Mosaic Garden. Mosaic Garden should absolutely have been red. Maybe even bumped up to Grandmaster. Like, it didn't have any Grandmaster tech, obviously. I guess we, we've decided, we've learned that levels are placed in, in the lobbies not necessarily by how difficult they are, but by what tech they have in them. And so, because Mosaic Garden did not have Grandmaster tech, it was put in this lobby instead. But still, yellow? I'm, I'm uh, surprised. I definitely, that was definitely hard. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Celeste Strawberry Jam and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.